Dyson, uh, what's what what's your favorite part of the film? Like, do you, is there anything that stands out to you? Is there any message that stands out to uh, the, you? Uh, there is a surprise in the film that maybe I, you know what, I can't talk about it because because it's a bit of a surprise. So that's my favorite <laughs> part. <laughs> but I like that the film has these uh, surprises. I, I'm the uh, main sound soundtrack oh. i did the soundtrack the uh composed the songs for the <clears throat> film most of them we we had some other artists from oklahoma uh on the soundtrack as well but um i just loved for me the thing about the film that's so great is that it's Keisha's singular vision that he was able to put this together basically as a one-man band. And I think that's uh, from being a, mu a musician guiding a guiding force in a couple of uh, bands through the 80s and 90s that um, did fairly well. I He's actually quite humble, if, if I may, <laughs> Please. when it comes to his like contribution to like music and everything. Because over time, he's now referred to as the godfather of alternative rock because um, his uh, first band, Defenestration, uh, was an inspiration on Kurt Cobain of Nirvana. And then his second band, which he got signed again, Chainsaw Kittens, was an inspiration on Billy Corgan from the Smashing Pumpkins. And he actually wrote him a fan letter about how he's like genius with his albums, everything. And then pre-pandemic, Pumpkins were in town, and they called him up to actually play a few songs with them. And so we were like Huge. backstage so with cool. the Pumpkins. They're like hanging out, old friends. Ha ha ho ho. He he. So I'm cool. all like, oh my gosh. James this C. Ha. Yeah. Jacket's actually a gift from James C. Ha from the Smashing Pumpkins. And so it's kind of my so. good luck jacket. You can only wear it for special. Special occasions. occasions. Well, like I'm honored this. to be in your and Mammoth its live. presence. <laughs> yeah. The Loop Live. Thank you. Thank you sir. <laughs> and like his his uh, music and soundtrack just really made it come to life because I knew that we had like a musical gem, um, and we got to use some of his music from Defenestration, Chainsaw Kittens, 80s, 90s, zeros, the tens, now the 20s and it was great because he really embraced today's technology i said yo like don't do this stuff from way back then it's already done use the technology of now and today and uh give the kids a run for their money and and he absolutely did oh, <laughs> he made really something fun. fantastic i got to be young again and a Up new age and tomorrow, <laughs> yeah. oh i love that